I tried so hard to find your sign off on December 12th, 2008. Oh yeah, I think we've got it. I couldn't find it. I would love to have a copy of yeah. it, but uh, did, did I, I couldn't. I was the whole, the whole show. And what happened the last morning was Erica angered with me because they knew that Miss Sensitive here would get a little sensitive. <laughs> I talked about leaving because this is my this all I knew. Yeah. I mean, I I got divorced because of this job. Oh yeah. My husband at the time said, "Okay, honey." We've been married three years. I either want a full-time wife or not. I don't want a full-time anchor. I want a full-time wife. Basically, it was the bottom line. Well, gee, honey, I've wanted to do this all my life, and if you control me now, what are you going to try to control me with next? I thought, this is not a position I want to be in. So that's what happened there. But I learned that you really have to go for your dreams. And sometimes people along the way try to pull you away from that dream to live their dream. But I didn't want to live somebody else's dream. I'm going to live mine. So there's been obstacles along the way. I gave a lot up for this job. I've been in, I've been not in this building, but in the old station over on 66th Street. I remember when I thought it was my last day on this earth because one of the hurricanes was moving through, and I was sitting on the anchor desk, and the roof above me lifted, like you know how the tiles it it sucked it up, and I'm on the air, and I hear this happening around me, and I'm thinking I'm going to go out. At least I'll go out. It's going to be on camera, and I'll go out doing what I always said I was going to do. But I, I, I feel like at times I put my life in danger for this job. But it's what I wanted to do. Yeah, it could have scared me off. I could have quit the business then. When you're doing what you love, yes, it's not work, is but it? But I had no idea the benefits I would reap after working so hard all these years and, and how, how, I, how people would gel with me. And that gives me the moxie to do it even more. You know, it's They're like, still getting the emails, where's Jen? Is she coming back? You know, I can't let those people down. I gotta do good in the community now because they'll let me. They trust me. Yeah, what is it like for you? I mean, you're on TV and and I mean, you've told us a little bit, but it's what you make it. You know, it, it could frustrate me a lot to go to the store and have people. She got in her car, you know, or oh look what she's wearing, shorts and no makeup and a. Well, I'm just and human. For Holloway from TV. And I could let it get under my skin a little. You know, because, and again, people feel, they'll say things to me. They'll just say things. You know, they they know me. So they'll just say things. So I don't, it doesn't bother me, though. And here's why. Because I chose this. This is what I chose. If I don't like it, then get your butt out of town and go live in small town USA where you're just an average Joe. So the day it gets under my skin with people, and if they say good, bad, indifferent, it doesn't matter. It's their opinion, it's their thoughts, that's fine. That's fine. So it is. it, it could be tough if I let it be tough. I've heard about all of your mentors in the past. Mm -hmm. Do you have a mentor now? Do I? Ooh. Someone here? <sighs> Someone you, you go to when you do get stirred up or when you need to be reminded? I think my mom's always there Still your probably, mom. yeah. Because I can call her and brag about something I did or some something that I could never call somebody else and say, oh, I got this today or so-and-so have it or lucky me. But it sounds braggadocious to other people. And I don't mean it that way since I'm excited. I'm doing good things. But I can call my mom and there's no judgment there. I know the Workout 180s is next and I know you're going to do some marketing things mm -hmm. with Bright House. But is there any one more thing in your mind that you're do. thinking you want to do? I do. I want to do a 180 Junior specifically for children. Get it in schools. It's so portable. You can take it anywhere. You know? I'd love to do a 180 Junior. So we'll see if that's next. I have so many things I want to do. So what I would like to do, my, my ultimate goal, let's say my five-year goal, maybe have a brand. Maybe have a, a, a line, if you will, of products that I not only use and endorse, but help me that might help you. And if I can get a, people, trust me, if I say it's a good product, they'll do it. They're already so, doing it. I can see it happening now. <laughs> but when I get their attention, guess what? They're going to learn about charities. They're going to learn about giving back. You know, it'll all, there's going to be, it's like the ulterior motive. It's not a bad one. I'm not going to rip you off. I'll give you good stuff. I'll give you good products. But when I've got your attention, I'm also going to give you more. I'll give you keys to help you build your life. Just be a better person. Be happy. It's not hard. It's just practice. It's like practicing your piano. Got to do it every day. Got to do it every day. And then it gets easier. So practice being happy. Oh, yeah. Interesting. And you, you get the best practice when people upset you. You'll be happy every day? Fine. But when somebody upsets you, that's when you put the practice in motion. 
And every day is not so hard. But it's when something gets your go is when you better put that practice hat on and sit down at that piano and put the clicker on and put your music and play, 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 play until you figure out how to do it, until you figure out how to control it. Well, that's all my questions. Do you have anything you want to tell us or tell the women that... Uh... You know, live and let live. You know, it's so easy to do. It really is. You've you got to practice it, though. You know, and being at peace takes practice. I'll be at peace for a month and somebody stirs me up and gets my goat. Okay, why you, are they stirring me up? Learn from it, don't let them stir you. Mastering others is strength, mastering yourself is the true power.